Welcome to this new add-on Spotlight. In this add-on Spotlight, we're gonna look at Volanta version 1.4, which is the latest release of the uh, software. So let's first have a look at what has changed. So we're gonna go to the release release notes, which you can find on the settings and then go to uh, change log. Uh, so the first thing which they have added is Volanta Mobile. So there's now a mobile app, a native mobile app for both iOS and Android. Um, be aware that this is only available for premium members. So you're, if you're not a premium member, you still can use it on your mobile, but then you need to use the mobile website, which is fly.volanta.app. Uh, keep an eye or look at my channel because I recorded already a video about that. Then there's the uh, overall real world schedules feature is now powered by an industry leader, FlyTheWare. Uh, so they've now imported some uh, real data, in, including uh, real schedules. Be aware that this is also premium functionality. Uh, they've added the stream overlay, uh, which allows you to use, uh, let's say, customized and pre built color schemes also for the non premium users. So if you're, let's say, a non premium user, you can still use this functionality, which is great. Then, in addition to that, uh, there's a full change log, right? So they switched uh, to a fly aware, flight aware, which I just mentioned. They added a Navigraph charts uh, slide out panel, which I will show in a few minutes. Then there's the added uh, stream overlay with the varying uh, themes and custom team for premium users. So if you're a premium user, yeah, then you can create custom teams. If you're a non-premium user, then you can only use the built-in uh, teams. Uh, Android and iOS already mentioned that uh, flight uh, page no longer auto zooms and pans out as a result of user feedback more languages more official links setting to disable the plugin install notifications uh, they added some scenery scans to improve the experience and improve the uh, performance of the uh, tool they added the display of uh, uh, runway numbers in the simbrief OFP panel I will show that in a few minutes and they added the ability to add your own flights to the roster. The roster is also premium functionality and we will go to the premium functionalities or what those are, I would say, in a few seconds. Uh, some more things they can, you can now have a fixed air, uh, aircraft icon for user's own flight, not always updating on the map. That's now being fixed and several other bug fixes, uh, which they did, including, let's say, bug fixes where it uh, didn't save it to the cloud or flights were not saved that's now being fixed uh, and they updated electron version uh, with security updates and other dependencies so that's always good to see they're also keeping an eye on the security part if we go to the premium uh, it will cost you roughly eight dollars per month or eighty dollars a year and this will be included right there are two op new options there's the schedules where you can find a new flight using the powerful real world schedule search and there's the roster where you can queue up series of flights and fly them anytime uh, the flight parties, cloud saves, cloud screenshots, aircraft persistence, remote pause, unpause, time sync, and premium status were already part of that premium service. So if you're interested, go to their site and then uh, subscribe. Now going to the uh, real things. So uh, let's see what we can do. So first of all, if you click on the plan, right, if you never used uh, Volanta, it's really a cool tool because you can plan a flight using multiple ways, right? You can say either a, a add a flight plan here uh, that will allow you to import a flight plan from Simbrief if you're having it uh, connected to Simbrief. If you didn't connect it for, uh, with Simbrief, you can still do it, but then you need to do a trick because then you first need to populate a flight. So let me say, I'm going to use this one, uh, Echo Hotel Romeo Delta, Rotterdam, and then, uh, for example, I want to fly to somewhere in London. Then I can also type the city and then say, okay, in this case, I want to go to London city. I don't provide alternate. If I would click Simbrief, it would, I would say, uh, show me a window if I did not log on. And then it will say, okay, hey, let me uh, authenticate you. Once it has authenticated you, it will schedule the flight and then will bring you back uh, to Volanta. Because currently you can see that the flight has already been scheduled. So that's really cool to see, right? So if I would go to the uh, briefing, which I can do using this button, it will show me on the right side the uh, sim brief data. And the cool thing is, if you're not familiar with this, it will show you also the uh, values on the top to make it easier to understand. For example, zero fuel weight, the payload, fuel. 
the flight time, the cruise altitude, but also the cost index. And those are the numbers which you likely need to enter into, into those, I would say, flight management systems uh, when you're, I would say, scheduling your flight, right? And you can copy also the uh, route to the clipboard. So if you want to share it with somebody else, you can easily copy and paste it. And the nice thing is that in this section or in using these buttons, in this section, you can easily skip from one end to the other, right? So if I want to know the winds, I can simply go to the wind information. If I want to go to the ICAO flight plan, I'm going to click it. If I want to know the weather, I can click on it again and it will show me the weather information, uh, which is available in the uh, flight plan. So I would say really cool that they uh, have it here. Uh, there's also an option here to open it in the browser, right? So you can click open in browser and then we'll open the information in the browser. Once you're airborne, you can look at the statistics because this uh, system tracks your uh, flight life, right? So it connects directly to Flight Simulator. There's no need to install additional components because that's all built in the installer. And then based on that, it will show you, I would say, the altitudes, right? You can take notes of your flight and you can take screenshots of your flight if you want. Uh, zooming into the airports a bit. So this is the airport, right? I can click on it and then it will show me information about the airport, right? I can say, okay, hey, these are the statistics. Uh, for, I would say people who are also using uh, Volanta are shown. Uh, these are your flights, right? So how many flights did I have from the airport? What are the number of flights today? And what are the flights this week? And then we've got the online ATC, which is using the online ATC. Uh, set, such as VETSIM, right? They're also shown here if you're connected your account to that. And then there's the live traffic. But as you, as you see, there's not a lot of live traffic here. But if we would go to, uh, well, let's say that we're taking Brussels, because that one looks a little bit more busier. You can see that, okay, hey, these are the uh, active flights, right? So these are the people who are also using either Volanta or they're using VETSIM or iFi, right? So you can also see the network which they're using. So really nice and uh, useful option, if you ask me. Uh, other than that, you can't find much about these airports. I was hoping that they would have, would have I would say, created some more things here, but there's really uh, nothing over here which you can see. So closing this one out and going back to the other options. Because for those who never used it, there are interesting things. You can, for example, see which flights you did do. Um, keep in mind that in this case, uh, VETS or Volanta needs to be started. As you can see, I didn't start the wall. Uh, so that's too bad because then I can't show you uh, a lot. But in this case, I'm going to click this one. And this will show me some information, right? So it will show me some information about the flight. It will also show me, okay, hey, what was the uh, landing information? Uh, it will show me the statistics. What was the uh, ground elevation, but also the altitude? What was the uh, landing rate? What was the uh, landing G-force? Also the landing speed. And of course, passengers, etc. So a lot of cool things. In this case, you can see that I didn't add any screenshots. Uh, so that's too bad. If you go to the aircrafts, you will find all the aircrafts and the number of flights you did do in these aircrafts. Uh, and that I would say varies, of course, uh, which aircrafts you did install. You would see that the, probably there are a lot of aircraft aircrafts which you can't, can't even fly with within Flight Simulator. Uh, but that's because this tool is also used for other uh, simulators, right? So don't be surprised by that. And then you can simply cl click on it and then see, okay, hey, these are the flights uh, of the Cessna uh, C-172. Uh, uh, so in total, there was a 45 hours flight. There was 41 uh, total flights, and this was the distance. So they can keep track of how long you did fly in certain aircrafts. Then for those who like to have challenges, then this is really a good one. It's the uh, arrow caches. You could compare it a little bit with, uh, I would say, uh, yeah trying to find something, right? A little bit of a save a game. And then you can, you can hide or unhide the... Uh, the Aero Cache, uh, Home of Flight Expo, for example, you can fly over it and then you will uh, that will be marked as completed. So have fun uh, using these functionalities. The same thing is for challenges, uh, which are the challenges, uh, for example, uh, Miami to Ibiza, then you need to fly from Miami to Ibiza. If you go to uh, Gibraltar approaches, then you need to uh, fly into Gibraltar airport. Uh, this runway has or airport has stunning views and then achievement land at Gibraltar, right? And you can see that I already completed two of them. Not too much, but I'm not, not too good at these things always. So still need to do a lot of work there. Then we've got the countries. 
And the countries is really cool. It shows you an overview of which countries you did visit and which countries you didn't visit. Uh, so you still can see, okay, hey, which countries do I need to visit? And you can see that the blue ones are the ones you visited, while the other ones are, I'd say, not uh, marked. So I need to visit, uh, I would say, a lot more <laughs> countries, as you can see. Then we've got the events, and the events is specifically for those who are using the online flight uh, flight services like VATSIM in, in iVIO. Those are the only two fields which you can set, and then you can simply click on them and really, I'd say, have a look at them. Uh, and join them uh, keep in mind that you need to have an account for that and i would say you really need to be i would say a little bit more advanced uh, in flying uh, you can't simply you'd say jump in you first need to go to a whole kind of series of training before you, you can join those online events and then you've got the schedules but as mentioned right the schedules is something which is not added because uh, by default because you need to have that premium subscription so a lot of cool things, if you ask me, I'm really happy with this, these additions. I'm really looking forward to start using them a little bit more. Uh, as you saw, I didn't use it a lot. Uh, so if you want to use the app, or go uh, to the description of this video where you will find a link where to download it and then create an account. And don't forget to uh, activate two-factor authentication to secure your account and then have fun using Volanta. So, with this, we will end this video where we looked at the latest version of Volanta, version 1.4. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.